Africa, a continent rich in natural resources and vibrant cultures, is facing a pressing challenge, climate change. In this video, we will explore the efforts being made to adapt agriculture to a changing climate in Africa. Here is a collection of realities as we witness the impact of climate change on the agriculture sector and discover collaborative and innovative solutions being implemented by local and international stakeholders in Uganda, Malawi and Senegal. With a population of over 1.4 billion people, Africa heavily relies on agriculture whereby 70% of the Africans depend on it for their livelihoods. Changing weather patterns, prolonged droughts, and increased flooding are a wrecking havoc on farmers. This story explores the adaptation strategies in Africa's agriculture sector, with a focus on finding solutions. How can adaptation initiatives successfully contribute to the resilience and sustainability of African agriculture in the face of climate change? Climate change. Echo na chizibwe chama ni chetu ni nacho. Amadi gadi gato na gaba manch. Obo msana gua guayaka guaba munch. Of late, Malawi has been encountering a lot of challenges that are actually climate change effects, ranging from drought, floods, and even cyclones that are actually affecting a way of livelihood for all of us as a country. Le phénomène du changement climatique s'accompagne des vents forts et secs, ce qui peut réduire la matière organique du sol à travers l'érosion éolienne. There has been a lot of erratic rainfall, which has impacted our productivity. Most of the farmers have ended up switching to other crops that are more drought tolerant. In the banana industry, we experienced banana diseases. For example, the banana bunchet of disease that came because of climate change. So it made farmers to start running away from uh, buying banana seedlings from us. Therefore, it brought a reduction in our revenue. <laughs> Communities are able to now begin to adapt by responding in terms of adopting different technologies and innovations that are actually solving each and every challenge around environmental sustainability. In terms of adaptation and innovation, our farmers have learned to cope with climate change, but it's not something that they can actually uh, say has retained their production to its initial state. We have diversified from producing bananas only to having seedlings like avocado pears, mangoes, apples. This is just to ensure that we do not run out of cash. Us as members of MAC, with the training we got, we are told that in case you're handling a place where there is too much rainfall, make trenches. So that instead of the water flooding the garden, the water will be drained out through the trenches. Ce que nous faisons dans le cadre de nos projets, nous essayons un peu d'adapter les pratiques agricoles de telle sorte que ces effets néfastes puissent être atténués. C'est dans ce cadre que nous avons lancé un projet d'aménagement agroforestier et aussi nous faisons une transition vers l'énergie plus environnementale qui est l'installation de solaire. My network and uh, together with other uh, players in the civil society space, we collaborate with the government of Malawi to address the impacts of climate change. We focus so much on supporting government to ensure that uh, the country uh, adopts clean and renewable energy technologies. We also support the government to ensure that communities out there are able to do regeneration of uh, the trees and forests that are there. 
Azuzuzu eHub, we're actually playing a very crucial role by bringing in climate enterprise and incubation, whereby we actually educate these entrepreneurs and even communities in terms of how they can understand how climate change affects and also how they can adapt and even develop different innovations for them to be able to adapt to the various solutions that can help them live better and even curb different insecurities from food, hunger issues and, and also the poverty challenges that are coming into play. Aye maka wabaida ni batu some sa enime yo mlembe Ntie chikolo nino kutamu Ensi go ndala 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 ato the right spacing Kati nsobola oku kungula ensa wa ikumi Looking at the crime tag 2 that we are using It is helping us in terms of awareness Because it gives us a tentative a month for example where we have rainfall Mark project yebe wobana bakoze omulimo munene era je misoma je batu wa jatu ya mbaino badina na faida batu ebuza ku bana mukikola mutia we call upon our wishers more so mark to increase on the level of, of, of trainings we need more trainings because so far the trainings we've had have been helpful to us. Less than 25% of our population has access to internet and the crime attack too is internet based. So I would recommend increasing the access to the two, either making it available offline, uh, maybe looking at other ways of messaging to get to farmers. This is just the call from our community that we are actually looking forward to working a lot in collaboration with different partners towards providing accessibility of these investments and making sure that communities become more resilient and adapt to climate change effects.